Hey, jeez! Welcome back to my free run, Beyond Journey's Andrew Actions. We're gonna be watching episode 7 today. <laughs> and, uh, I, this actually, I'm recording this kinda late because uh, I got really, really sick last yesterday. Last yesterday, really, jeez. Yesterday, so, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's bad. <laughs> Anyways, what happened last time? Last time we got joined by Stark. We actually fought the dragon. By we, I mean Stark fought the dragon. Didn't even realize that he could kill in 30 seconds, and, uh, he did. So, um, yeah, and then we went to a different city and then we're, we're going past it, but there's like monsters and whatever there. And they were like, you can't pass here. And then they realized that it's free Ren. So, yo, sorry, you're the free Ren. We need to let you pass here. And free Ren's like, ah, I wanted to go shopping <laughs> for spells and all that. So, let me fix my camera. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I think that's all that happened. Yeah. It's a very chill show, but there's a lot to talk about, to be honest. So, I quite like it. So, okay. Let's do this. It's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. A picture and picture version, which you can find in the description below, and the time based version, which you're watching right now. If you want to take up your own media to the time based version, you can do that. I don't have a single account, that's a account that right? Because that's what they do. Uh, zero is the same for my videos. That's playing on screen. Let me just fix something. Just minimize OBS. Check, where's my mouse cursor? There we go. Subtitle file, check, and audio track, check. And then unmute. No, it's already unmuted. Okay, let's go here. And timer will go here. That's a book. Hey, it's uh this guy. Himel and Hai Hai Se Haikin. She would know. Oh, she's the founder of magic. Okay. Butterflies. Cute. Hello Fern. Hello Stark. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I freaking love their faces. Hey <laughs> look at her! She's enjoying herself so much. Oh my god, they're feeding her. <laughs> okay, now she's gonna be a big discussion to the back of the YouTube check the lesson again. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get the page on the second video so in advance. Uh, let me check my recording. Everything's working, everything's working. Uh, okay. Okay, good. Hey! Okay. Isn't a flame from a thousand years ago? So she would at least be a thousand years old. But it's more than that, it's just at least. Me. I slept for 10 hours. Why am I so sleepy? 11. 11 hours. Now I think about it. Insomnia meds. <laughs> like a fairy tale. Okay. Hello, Stark. What's up? Okay, in the northern lands, okay. Hmm. Okay. Just making it float. Hmm. 
What's that reward? <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Oh, okay. Oh. So it's fair to say that. Yeah, true enough. I was expecting Stark to be more muscly. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> same start, same. <laughs> oh, we're back there. <laughs> okay, we're back to start summer. Yeah, an elf. Oh, they're that rare. That's kind of cool. Oh, really? Interesting. Oh, interesting. Oh. So they don't like to reproduce, but they can. There's a line of wagons. Liberation Festival. Independence Day. That's a big thing. Oh, it's them. <laughs> Excuse me. Accurate. So it off. Let me write something. <laughs> wow. It's took a memory because they're gonna die very early on than you. Yeah. Sure, dude. Aww, that's sweet. Not fair tales. Yup. Yup. Oh yeah, I wonder why. Sorry about that, I was break. Mo 
most likely. Yep. Mm. Demon King Castle. Demon King's Castle, sorry. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Rough Granite's domain located in the north of the lands, okay. Down, 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 down. Down. Full shot. What is it? Uh, they look like they're part of the society. Lugner. Accurate. <laughs> Look at that face. That is the face of bloodless. <laughs> Uh, eh, eh, eh. What do we do? <laughs> what do we do? Oh, we're going there. <laughs> <laughs> Shorter than expected. <laughs> the darkness suddenly in her face. Or the guilty. Okay. All those funny mazes. Oh, when Himal died. Oh, that's your good idea. That's literally what I wrote down. <laughs> to trick them? For manipulation? Freer is gonna kill her. No. If you can't do it, Freer is gonna do it. <laughs> mm. 
Reed's gonna kill it. Good point. It's a complex situation. I'm not sure what to do. If you attack him, I'm gonna be pissed. Jeeves gonna die. Please tell me that she lives a better life. Aww. By the way, I'm still sick, sorry about blowing my nose. Okay. Huh, I wonder how- Oh, I wonder how genuine she's being right now. Let me- let me think about that. Like, she might be just twisted, like she doesn't understand how this works. Yeah, she's- she's being genuine about this. She doesn't know what's going on. Nice. Death. Huh. So she's really saying oh Hassan just to trick people? Maybe she yearns for that. Maybe she actually yearns for that. Oh. Never mind then. Give me my books, I'm bored, it's gonna be three years. Yeah, I wonder where. <laughs> Yeah, good. <laughs> Look at his face. Paintings. Did he die? Hmm. 
They died. Why do you get the feeling he died? Then oh aura as well. Are you sure about this dude? <laughs> Unfaced. Look at the paintings. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> It's bad. He already mentioned his plans to the audience. You're gonna die. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. But it's a father. <laughs> it's a magic word that lets us not be killed. Okay. She's cute. <laughs> Sorry. Is it this guy? Uh, okay. That just happened. Decapitation! Okay. Well, at least you're straightforward about it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Excuse me. Most likely. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's talk about this episode. First of all, I need to check is there anything at the end? Nope. Okay. I need to check something. I moved my headphones wires a tiny bit, so I need to check if it's still recording. It is still recording, good. Okay, now I need to go to the very beginning and talk about the episode. Okay, let's talk about this. Um, we start off with a bit of a flashback with uh, our boys, our boys and one girl getting uh, a grimoire that is like a fake thing from uh, Flame. What's interesting about this is that we learned that Flame created magic. Is that a thing? Is that what I'm supposed to take from this? That uh, the the source, the originator of magic, like she created magic. That's interesting. Um, I don't know what else to say about that, but um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this this part is, is gave me a little chuckle, especially this part where she's. Mm -hmm. 
She's just a little baby. <laughs> Not a baby. She's. <laughs> you know what I mean. She's cute. <laughs> she's just. <laughs> she can. Although uh, not waking up on time is something I do all the time. Nor are we even doing it, according to Stark. Who knows? <laughs> I'm still sick, by the way. Sorry if I do that every now and then. And we get a little quest of uh, clearing the uh, landslide. Um, when uh, when freaking Firin was like, that's what Fern said anyway, and, she, and then she immediately goes, you're very selfish, Stark. It's interesting because it almost feels like if it was up to Firen, she would just lift the cart. And Fern is the one that just decided to actually help the other people. Because uh, that's that's uh, in tune with the, how they would act, to be honest. There's a conversation that interests me here. Uh, first of all, this, where uh, he doesn't want to be called Sama anymore. But then Fern just starts being more rude towards him. I would have been more okay with Fern being rude towards him, to be honest. <laughs> Like, we just skipped the casual conversation and went immediately to besties that just diss each other. <laughs> That's what we would do. <laughs> I would like that a bit more, to be honest. Mm, my voice is already getting tired. I need two more videos out of this. Uh, interesting. Interesting bit of lore, again. There's not that many elves, because elves don't like reproducing even though they have the capabilities, I'm assuming, to reproduce. Because apparently they don't experience sexual instinct, so... But she also said, but the way she said it, it feels like they can reproduce, they just don't feel like it. <laughs> That's interesting. Because I've seen people ship uh, freaking free rent with Himel. I wonder if they can make half elves. That'll be interesting. <laughs> um, I've tried my best to avoid as much spoilers as I can. To be honest, I haven't really been spoiled about the show yet. But sometimes uh, whenever I'm scrolling through social media, I just see stuff. And uh, I haven't really been spoiled about anything yet, but I've seen like people shipping Fern and Stark, freaking Freerin and Himel. There's like, I, I talked about a meme I saw before, but other than that, I haven't really been spoiled, so. I still don't know if I ship Stark with uh, Fern. I asked a friend who's like uh, caught up with the anime. <laughs> do, people, do people ship these two? And they were like, yes, almost everyone does. I don't know about that because. Fern just seems so disinterested. <laughs> like, going back to the. Oh wow, it's small. I want to talk about this. Uh, the idea of festivals. The reason why I said said uh, accurate when uh, Fern said that. Uh, Fern, uh, Fern said that. Um, you must like making a fuss about everything. Is because I usually don't like festivals that much. I think they're loud, and I don't like going outside that much. So yeah, um, <laughs> I'm very introverted to be honest. It isn't very obvious with the way I speak all the time in, in front of a camera, but still, it's me whenever I'm talking about something I enjoy, like anime. So I, I speak a lot more. But um, I don't like festivals that much. But I get I get what they're trying to say here. Is the idea that um, that um. Even when Himal and the others die, Frey, Freerin, who survives, can still look at the festival and realize that, oh yeah, we did this thing. Yeah, this existed. This is not just a fairy tale. This is something that actually happened. And I, I can remember this through the people that are celebrating it. And what's really interesting about that is that they almost read through how Freerin works. Because they know that Freerin is probably going to travel the world again, right? And searching for spells, right? And excuse me, and it feels like is it's gonna grow on her, right? <laughs> is, she wouldn't immediately think that this is something that uh, she would enjoy. Yeah, and then at some point it's just yeah. Okay, let's keep going. My brain isn't working that much because I'm still sick. Yesterday I was super sick, but now I'm just kind of sick. I like that line of we weren't just fairy tales. We existed with you. And then we go to the next town over, and then there's a bunch of things here. And it's just. <laughs> look at Fern's face. Uh, Fern. I keep messing up Freerun and Fern. But look at Freerun's face, and they're like, look at this. So much blood loss in those eyes. It's like like, like a seething rage. Like, you don't really see that in her, in her face. 
but it's there. <laughs> you can feel it in the depths there. <laughs> so, it's really cool. Um, let's keep going. You just want to wait. There's a real neat bit here. I want to go through. I don't know, this is just fun to me. This, the sudden very bright shot of a friend's face and then suddenly turning dark like that. It's really fun to me, I don't know why. <laughs> because it's like, I am disappointed in you, Firin Sama. <laughs> it's funny to me. It's really funny to me. I think the show does like facial expressions in for comedy really, really well. Like, um, specifically Firin and Fern's faces. Even Stark's face is really good. Like, there's a shot in, of uh, Stark's face in in uh, in the very first scene where uh, he was so confused as to what they were doing with Firin. Now the Firin's woken up. And they just do such a good job of that. I think one of the comments told me that um, Firin's face, uh, facial expressions rival that of Anya's from Spy Family, which I'm recording later. But um, <laughs> um, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I can see that being a thing. It's really cool, but everyone else's facial expressions are, are, are as expressive, so that's even better. Okay, okay so Aura is like this demon general, whatever, guillotine, whatever, and then uh, it's just uh, got power back 28 years ago, which is um, conveniently enough the time that Himal died, around the time that Himal died, so that's interesting. I'm gonna talk about this. Um, this is probably my first complaint for the show. <laughs> and this is not much of a complaint, more so like a... What's the word I'm looking for? Like a, something where... My taste isn't suited to it. It's not really a complaint. <laughs> um, it's just that I really wanted the demons to have more complexity towards them. <laughs> like give them... Like they have, they are capable of speech, which made me really think that maybe at some point we're gonna meet a demon that actually cares for themselves or people around them, something along those lines. But this girl, what's interesting about this girl is that um, she says mom, right? She says Okasa and just to get pity out of everyone, right? And what's interesting about that is she seems so genuinely, genuinely happy, and genuinely thought that. This is her way of actually achieving peace, a peaceful life. And so that's what interests me. Because it feels like there's something deeper to it, but I'm not so sure anymore because of the Ludger, or whatever his name was. But this is really interesting to me. Female actually saves the little demon girl. They live their life with the, with the chief's family. And she burns the family, this house down and kills the chief. And takes the kid and says that, okay, since you lost a child, how about taking this one from me? That would be great. Um, what's interesting about this, sh this scene specifically, this very specific scene, is that um, she actually says that, excuse me, she actually says that, um, let, me, let me go through it instead of just thinking about it. Let me go through this. Let's see. Why do you get a bit of sheath? You should've killed it back then. There it is again. Oh, this part. First of all, this part. I felt you decided to kill me. I wonder if she's talking about that one specific lady, or if it's literally everyone else, because they're paranoid about having a demon in their village. I just want to leave in peace. That's another line that I really like. It's almost as if it's, it's, it's got a twisted sense of self, where it's like, it wants to live a peaceful life, but it doesn't really necessarily know what that entails. Or, yeah. Like, first of all, mm, like, killing humans is a thing that she, she she probably doesn't know is a bad thing. Right? Maybe she genuinely doesn't know that. Or maybe she genuinely thinks that giving another child to this, to this, uh, to this lady is actually gonna fix the problem. I don't know. I don't know. But the more we see of the demons, specifically Lujur or whatever his name was, um, the more I feel like they honestly aren't as complex as I want them to be. And that's the complaint. They f I feel like I want them to be more complex. I want there to have some kind of, some kind of, uh, depth towards just not, 
and not just uh, I want to kill humans. I want to eat humans. Yay! I don't, I don't, I don't. I feel like that's that's too lazy. <laughs> I feel it's kind of lazy writing. Um, and you know that could actually work. Now to think about it, that could actually work if we work already around it. So that, that's okay. Again, it's not much of a complaint, more so like my preference. And then she says what mom really means to her, and it's like, you don't have parents, you don't really get raised by parents, you're just kind of born, boop, and then you do your own thing. <sighs> okay. Bring me books! Realize that um, the only problem that they have is figurine. And we're also thinking that, uh, he saw her somewhere. Hmm, I wonder where. You know, how long has it been? 28 years, then 50 years. So 78 years. It's been 78 years and most people have forgotten about, about not the heroes specifically, but like the heroes' faces specifically. <laughs> and they probably didn't even think that they would last that long. So yeah. I like that line in the early, earlier part of this where, uh, you look a lot like this lady over here in the video heroes. Hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> Brings out the sword. You know that sword looks old. Like that that sword looks so worn out. And this guy seems like a really powerful demon, so I don't know what you're doing with that. <laughs> okay, so he uses father. He uses I Oh yeah, G, I think is the word to use. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry about that, I had to blow my nose. There should be a cut there. Sorry about that. That was gross. I'm gonna cut that out. Uh, what was I talking about? This guy uses the word father to, to be like, you kept your son's room clean because you miss your son. I kept my father's room clean because you killed my, my father. And then she was, uh, it was like, okay, let's talk about this first. And it's literally happening what happened with the uh, Himel and the little little demon girl. It's happening again, so that makes sense. Look at the classy way he drinks wine. Mmm, mmm, sniffing the first. Mmm, yeah, little, little gulp. <laughs> of course he does that. Uh, this, this episode actually has a bit more um, death to it. Uh, a bit more blood to it as well. With the cutting off the hand and decapitation. Interesting. I wonder what this guy's powers are. It's like he uses like a uh, growth wire or something. And then he says, Oh, you're stronger. You're stronger than me. I'm stronger than Aura. I'm stronger than Aura, bitch. You can't do, your boss can't do anything on me. I actually believe her. Like, not only is she already really strong back in the day, like seven to eight years ago, but <laughs> she, she gained more, uh, she, she became more and more powerful. Like the thing with the, I forgot what it's called. Zoldi, Zoldi, Zoran, so something. The the spell that uh, the demon guy was using. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I do like the the recurring theme of um, memories and freaking. Um, what's the word I'm for? And uh, treasuring those memories. Uh, I talked about this before, but I have a terrible memory. Like, it's weird because I only remember, like, nonsensical things like random trivia <laughs> random trivia like directors from anime that I've seen I've, I remember those things but for the most part whenever it comes to like uh, life events I something I usually forget details like usually forget most details about them I talked about that before it's, it's how my brain works and uh, I've been told to just take a bunch of photos so that I don't I don't forget them as easily so I've been taking more photos lately. <laughs> So yeah, that's a thing. Um, anyways, other than that, other than that, I think we're done. I think we're done. This has been fun. Mm. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Uh, can Freeman cast spells without a staff? I'm pretty sure she can, right? She can, right? We haven't really seen her do it though. But I'm pretty sure she can. Maybe it's just like a, like a conduit, maybe. So, I don't know. Okay, I think I'm done. So, that is it for me for now. If you want to see the next time, you can make it. I'll also give you that video. If you want to really help out, you'll have to be again. I'll leave the webcam channel a lot. Also, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, all the fun stuff. And, bye!